Now I would like to call Hasnan, who also belongs to Peshawar, and he is one of the youngest English language instructor, a radio broadcaster, and a motivational speaker. Achievements because it's not what matters, it's that words that matter. But simply, I'm a peasant of God and I work to serve this country. I am the world's youngest English language instructor and journalist. I also spend time doing many things, writing as a writer. I've done um, doing many different other things. For example, I have computer expertise, and currently, I am a director at an agency, one of Pakistan's biggest, which is Agency 92. So uh, here I have to say a few things for uh, Yashal English House, which is that it's quite a blessing to see them because I've personally been associated and I've been talking and I've been looking forward to them from a long time. And seeing the development, seeing the differences and seeing the changes that have revolutionized through this short period of time, it's quite amazing to me to see the amount of people that want to learn and the amount of people that have the capacity to learn and to develop. In Pakistan, there is one big problem, which is that people don't want to learn, people don't have the thirst. But when I see people like Sarishal or people that want to build places for learning, it's quite captivating, it's quite mesmerizing to see these journeys of other people. As myself, I've had a long journey of hard work and of harshness of many other problems. And through that journey, I've learned many things. And seeing these people, uh, it makes me feel great, it makes me feel good. So I'm going to be covering those few things here. Uh, just like my fellow, just like my big brother and my old friend uh, Mohib said, honesty is very important. And to all the students that are here with us, I would like to tell you people that do not take things for granted. I've seen students. Students don't ask questions. They don't have the capacity to ask questions. And that makes me feel bad. Our students are not creative, not curious. Build curiosity, become a better version of yourself. We are not who we are because of our perfection, because of our being the best. It's actually the betterment that we work for that makes us who we are. If I was suddenly the best of the best, I would have never been on this spot. It was my mistakes that came and brought me to this spot. So seeing the students that make mistakes and they become better, that is more better. That is better than not making mistakes and trying to be the best because in for example, you cram, you try to cram again and again, you try to do those things, it won't work. For a certain time, you would, you would be able to cheat yourself by saying that I know everything while you know nothing, you only cram. But after that time, you will know nothing. You will know nothing. And finally, last but not least, stay faithful. I've seen lots of students that are disguided from their own path. And here I would like to be a bit religious about this. The thing is that I've seen lots of students that just get either into two sides. Either they are non-Muslim, they are non-Islamic. And, and I'm not saying that they are not Muslim by faith, but they're just Muslims by name. They call themselves Muslim, but they aren't Muslim at all. I've never seen that. Liberal Muslim mindsets are there nowadays in everybody. So I would like to say, what is the difference between our people and the people that are normally there? non-Muslims, actually non-Muslims. In Quran, it is said that we have put a seal on their head and they are talking about uh, non-Muslims. Uh, uh, it is quote unquote, the, uh, we can say the meaning of it is we have put a seal on their head. We have deafened them and put a barrier in front and behind them and they cannot see the truth. They cannot hear the truth. They cannot speak out. Even though the truth is in front of them, they will deny it. And they will continue to believe in their non-realistic admi admirations, in their non-realistic fantasies. And I would say that's all. That's what I believe. And I hope you people, the choice is yours. You people have a great opportunity. We have great teachers by us. And we have a great life. You people are Muslim by chance, not by choice. Build yourself a Muslim by choice. And build yourself a great student. That's what I'd like to say. Thank you so much. And I love you.